Welcome back to Wicked Auto. Today we are doing a quick install. Um, so this takes, should take uh, roughly 15 minutes, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. Uh, let's see by the time we get to the end of the video. Uh, let's go ahead and do the open box and see what we're in for. Okay, so as you can see, Boost Auto. Uh, if you guys know, follow along with the F-150 build that we had done, Boost Auto, we love them. Uh, their quality is top notch. I mean, it's better than OEM. Um, <laughs> so this, I got the mirror lights. So I did not get the full mirror set only because Boost Auto doesn't have the 360 cameras in their mirrors yet. Um, and I didn't want to lose them. If you don't have the cameras or you're not worried about losing the cameras, I would absolutely swap for Boost Auto's mirrors. Uh, obviously, I've done it before. And like I said, better than OEM. So take a look. I will link the, the, the video for the F1 F-150 full mirrors, the install review, all that up in the corner. Uh, go ahead and give that a watch if you are interested in the full mirrors. They do make them, if anybody else is watching just because you're curious, all the brands, all the truck brands, right? Chevy, GMC, Dodge, or Ram, uh, and Ford. They make them for all of them. Take a look, better than OEM. And they give you all kinds of different options for them that obviously you would not get from the factory, hence why they, this company exists in the first place, right? Everybody wants something better. They're the best. Let's get to opening. Boom, look how gorgeous they look. So like I said, I only got the lights themselves to swap out, uh, which we're going to do now. Uh, let me go ahead and take this plastic off. Let's see if I can do this one handed or not. Yep. Okay. All right, so as you can see, I got smoked lenses this time. Uh, of course, factory is not at all. Uh, smoked out lenses, I got switchback, so they will change from white to amber. Uh, they'll be on all the time white until I go to use my turn signal, four ways, whatever. And then they will be the amber. I did not get the sequential, which you can do. So the sequentials, and you can get, get them switchback sequentials, they run along the lines, right? Instead of just coming on, the light will start from one end and go to the other. Uh, that's an option if you choose to do so. And of course I got the puddle lights, so we can turn these on and leave them on. Uh, let's go ahead and get them installed. Okay, so pull the truck in. Make sure you extend your mirrors out as far as they'll go. We're gonna start with the bottom glass. All you're gonna need for the whole thing is seven millimeter socket for the bolts on the inside, flathead screwdriver, and a trim tool. Trim tool, just using this. Uh, but first, you wanna pop the lower glass. Actually, let's try it this way. So we're gonna move that down. Take your flat head, because there's pins in here. And you do wanna be very careful, this is glass. Which is why, don't be wrong, I don't really like doing the glass. Because if you watched the previous videos, I've done this before. And not on the lights, but the lens itself. And I broke the glass. <laughs> it was the top piece. So be careful when you're doing this. Okay, got it? Did break, nice. So on the bottom, you'll have these two uh, connectors you gotta unplug. Unplugged, set this to the side somewhere safe so it doesn't break. Top, you're gonna do the same thing. Push it back in the top corner. And this one, the top piece has three little prongs that uh, go in there. So this one, I don't really don't like these. Like I said, the, the, the top is what I <laughs> busted before. So I'm gonna push, so you can, if you push it back, you can see one of the pins here. I'm going to try. To push that, I can get that with my finger. Got it? Careful on that pop. 
Didn't break. Nice. Okay. So, like I said, I push this in with my finger and you just pull out. Eh, I guess it's only one other clip, I guess. And then, of course, the ones in the middle. But, so again, pull these. So the little ones that are on the bottom in the, this top corner are the defrost. Let's see if I can just, just let this hang. All right, so then there's uh, the bolts that are in here. One, two, three, four, five of them. Like I said, there's seven millimeter. Caught it, then dropped it. So if you want, make sure you have a magnet or something to pull these out. Push that one in, that one in. Put these two down. Okay, let me grab my magnet. Don't want these getting lost here. So magnet might be another tool you want. Okay, so that's done. Now you need to take your trim tool. Actually, no, nope. first flathead. There's three clips. Let me show you. There's three clips up here. If I can spin it around right. Uh, on the top there, there and there. Those, that is for the cap. You gotta take the mirror cap off. Uh, so you just depress that, pop them free, and then you'll take your trim tool and pull the mirror cap off off the back. So let's get that done. Just want to push them down. And in. So I can get it in there. Just a little pressure right here along the edge. Maybe. Might need a thinner one. And that's why you use a trim tool so you don't scratch this stuff. It popped. That's why I need kind of this. Because it came back down, that's why. Then do this at the same time. There we go. And then the last one. There we go. Now the top is free. So you can just pull this off. Now I know there's a clip right here in the middle on the bottom of the mirror cap. Once you remove it, it breaks. It doesn't matter that you break it, but we're going to see if we can just leave that in there. Did we get that lucky? To where we could possibly do that. Tool for this side here sticking a little bit. Now, this piece you disconnect the wire from in there, you just pop that tab out and unplug. So, there's a factory. Let's grab the new one. Show the difference here. So, both the same way, same side. There you go. So, let's put this to the side. Okay. 
that bit back in. Now, and this is part of the thing. <laughs> Where's the cap? Okay. And now, like you gotta take your puddle light down out of the bottom. Or the camera, whatever the hell it is. And then let's get this put back in. That's lined up, that's lined up. Boom. So everything's back on. Perfect. So now we just need to put screw the bolts back in, put the glass back on, and we're already done. Okay. So now, since this is all tight, check your lines. Make sure it's all good. Perfect. This looks perfect. All right. Let's plug everything back in. Since I just gave the slack on this one, man, I'm not, that fingerprint's gonna drive me nuts. So, let's loop it back under. That's how you undid it. Come back to this side. All right, we'll get that one. Let's plug these in here first. For the defrost. Now I'm back there. Now again, glass, so you wanna line it up and even pressure, push these back on. Use your palm, good to go. Bottom one, same thing, plug back in your defrost. This one, same thing, even pressure. Okay, good to go. All right, so you would do the same thing on the other side. Let's see how they look. Actually, before we do that, we still need to hook up the bottom. So you're gonna take this, plug this back in. Oops, take the cam off, put that back on there. If it wouldn't stay. Okay, so you wanna put the depression, the clip right here, in ugh, last. Why not what I was putting it in, right? All right, so now we're all done. Now let's take a look. Okay, so driver's side's done, unlock. And that's how it'll go. Man, that looks good, doesn't it? Smoke lenses with the white. Then lock. Now remember, they're still extended. Unlock. There's your white. All right, let's take a look at factory. Yeah, I'm gonna say the Boost Auto as usual. Looks, looks absolutely amazing uh, compared to factory. And again, the quality. I mean, you can't beat it. I, I swear the quality is better than OEM. Uh, but look, like I said, passenger side is obviously going to be the exact same as the driver's side. Uh, so let me go ahead and finish the passenger side, and then we'll take a look at both of them being done. As you can see, both are done. Uh, both are white. I did move them back in. They're not extended anymore. Test everything out before I put it on video, just in case. And everything's good to go. Uh, so total install, 20 minutes. I mean, it's super easy and it looks so much better. Uh, so let's go ahead and, so again, this is your running light now, not the amber. Um, of course, the light under there still works. And I think it's, yep, there you go. 
and then let's turn on there. So now you get the extra light in between. Let me see if I can find the button and so you guys can see off, on. And that's on both sides. Of course, you can turn them on. Uh, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, uh, check out everything from Boost Auto. I mean, I've put quite a few different things from them on different trucks. And it's always amazing whether it is just connectors to make all your headlights come on at once. If you don't have a Ford and can't use four scan, uh, four scan or full mirror setups, just the lights, uh, they have steps, hit them up. Of course, the links will be in below as usual for anything and everything I put on this truck. So we'll see you guys here in a couple days. Like, subscribe, 